In this question we are asked to calculate the displacement factor uh, for a reaction based on some thermodynamic uh, data. <clears throat> and what we basically have is a reaction A plus B and this is a reversible reaction C plus D. And we need to figure out how far away is this a reaction from the equilibrium. And for that we have the Q over K ratio. So what is Q? Q is simply the mass action ratio for this. So Q is defined as the concentration of C times concentration of D at the time when we look at it, divided by the concentration of A times concentration of B, again at the time when we look at this reaction. In contrast to that, our equilibrium, a constant K, sometimes abbreviated as KEQ, is defined as the concentration of C times the concentration of D, when we have reached the equilibrium, when no more changes are happening. And again, A at the equilibrium times concentration at B at the time of the equilibrium. So the equilibrium, let's just simply remove that. K tells us what are the concentrations when no further change is happening? Q, mass action ratio, tells us what are our concentrations when we look at this reaction. And we know that the uh, equation for that would be delta G equals R T L N Q over K. And that is the displacement factor, Q over K. Uh, we have been given delta G, this one here. We have R, we have T at 37 degrees, so we can easily calculate that. So all we need to do is rearrange this equation <clears throat> and we get ln Q over K equals delta G over RT. So our T, that is the temperature in Kelvin, equals 273 plus, we had 37 degrees Celsius, so that gives us 310 Kelvin. R was given as 8.31, 8.31, Joule per mole and Kelvin. And our delta G, that was given as 0, 0 0.5 kilojoule per mole. 0 0.5 times 10 to the 3 joule per mole. So all we need to do is uh, plug these numbers in, ln q over k equals negative 0 0.5 times 10 to the 3 joule per mole and kelvin, joule per mole, divided by 8.31 joule per mole and kelvin, this times per kelvin, times 310 Kelvin, Kelvin cancels out, Joule per mole cancels out, so all is good. And if we do this calculation, we get negative 0 0.194. So ln Q over K, ln Q over K, equals negative 0 0.194 and in order to get uh, 
the displacement factor, we take both sides e to the power of, then e and ln cancels out, and we get q over k equals e to the power of negative 0 0.194, and that gives us a ratio of 0 0.8 to rounded 4. So, our Q value, the mass action ratio, uh, is not too far away from the equilibrium, so we are pretty close to the uh, equilibrium. But we also know that since our delta G is smaller than zero, we know that this reaction reaction is feasible and it is going in the sort of advertised direction A plus B goes in this direction towards C plus D. So I hope this makes sense and uh, thank you very much for watching.